Hi everyone, I'm Kim Wilkinson of Empowered Life. It's been a while since I've shared on my YouTube channel a bit about my personal journey, my healing journey, and I wanted to do so today. Uh, today being a very significant day. It is Sunday, May 10th, 2020, and it's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there. It's a significant day in the sense that it's my first Mother's Day since my son Tristan passed away. He passed last November 14th, 2019 of an overdose. And uh, those of you that have seen my previous videos, you know a big part of the story I started sharing, kind of his journey, our journey, and my healing process right from the day after he passed. And it's just been a while since I've shared an update. I will tell you I am doing well. It's been an incredible year for me. It's, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I'm not going to say that I don't you know, have my days. I still do. Um, Tristan is often the first thing on my mind when I wake up each day. I think about him when I go to bed at night and uh, several times throughout the day. If you want to talk about putting yourself in a trigger zone, I am actually currently working about 40 hours a week at the addiction treatment center where he was a client. So I've like dove in right into, um, you know, being reminded of him, but it's been very, very healing. And I know um, for many people that would not be a, an easy thing to do. Um, but for me, it has been very helpful. I'm very fortunate, very blessed that, um, you know, before and as Tristan was even kind of getting deeper into his suffering, I was doing a lot of, of training and personal work. And it was like, you know, God, the universe, I don't know, something was preparing me to deal with this major event that was about to happen when he passed. So I had a lot of tools and a lot of support. And uh, I, I think that made a big difference for me to be able to, you know, move into a place of, um, you know, acceptance and being able to grieve properly and to not, um, you know, to not get pulled into that place of suffering. The reality is, um, we have all been through some really shitty stuff. We've all had trauma, some of us more than others into deeper degrees or levels than others. Some of us may be going through it right now and we're going to go through more in the future. This whole COVID-19 is a perfect example, right? Um, <laughs> there was lots of us, I think, that thought, gosh, you know, I can't wait for 2019 to be done. And you know, you look at where we're at now, and uh, it's just a perfect example that life is always going to throw these shit storms, and uh, we can't avoid them. So we need to learn to to move through them, basically. And and that's what I've been focusing on. That's what I've been doing, and I can tell you it works. There are days where I come down here to my Zen den in the morning, and I do some yoga and meditation before I go to work. And many of those mornings, the tears are falling on my yoga mat or streaming down my face. And I feel that sadness and I, and I miss him. But I start to do the work at that point. And what I'm referencing to is that, that inner work, the healing work, and, you know, making those conscious choices to let go of the past, you know, remembering that no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how hard you try, you can't change anything that's never been done. And you can't control anything outside of you. So rather than, you know, giving energy and power to that, and I make that conscious choice to take back my power and to control what I, what I can control, which is just my internal environment. And then I choose to shift my thoughts, right? So rather than thinking about, you know, the unpleasant things with Tristan, I think about the positive things, you know, with him, the great memories, that I have with him, I think about how grateful I am that he is not suffering, that he is in a place of peace, and that there is no more suffering. I think about all of the gifts that he gave me, and I don't mean physical gifts. He did give me some pretty awesome, um, you know, really personal things that he made the last few years, but I mean the gifts of knowledge and experience and life lessons, you know, these gifts of you know, understanding 
acceptance and non-judgment and unconditional love and forgiveness. And, you know, being able to find meaning and purpose in what he went through and the path that he put me on is such an incredible gift. Um, I mean, to now, to bring all of that into empowered life and to add to what I've been doing with sharing and helping and teaching, um, to be able to help others. He, he gave me that gift and, and what a great gift. So when I think about all of that and I move into that place of gratitude, it helps to lift me up, you know, climb that emotional scale and raise my vibration. And then gratitude for everything else that I have, you know, um, you know, my family, my husband is who is so supportive and, and you know, our other five children, my daughter, who is just blows my mind. She's, you know, stronger and smarter than I was at that age, for sure, and uh, resilient. And then, you know, these four incredible stepchildren that all of them in their own way have such amazing gifts and talents and from day one have been just so, you know, accepting and supportive and loving. And it's just, it's fantastic. And they really, they help to fill that void. And, um, you know, just, just doing that work and making that shift every day. And then to, you know, to gratitude, to go to this incredible place I work to give back in, in the place where, you know, Tristan in his last few years was a place where he felt safe and where he found connection to self and where he did do some healing, you know, before he passed away. So it's, it's been an interesting, an interesting year so far. You know, we're, we're in the middle of May here. Um, we have this whole pandemic going around, but I feel like I've made such progress this year. Even though there's many days, like I said, that I still have these tears and sadness, um, I've done so much healing and I've had such opportunity to help other people. And now even back as a student and taking classes online, you know, in the area of addictions and, you know, working towards certification in as a grief recovery specialist, um, you know, it's it's Tristan and this, this whole journey that has led me to this purpose, which is so meaningful and so rewarding. And that really helps with the healing. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, and the reason I share this is just, um, you know, in hopes that I can motivate or inspire or show you that no matter what you're going through, you can heal and you know everybody goes through it you know slightly differently and you know at a different pace but what i can say is if you do the work and if you're consistent consistency really is key every single day healing can happen and incredible things can can grow from there as well and I can just tell you that from my own personal experience. So thank you for watching. I will be back um, a little bit more regularly to continue to share. Like I said, just so many opportunities have fallen into place that are allowing me to, to continue my own healing, but also to help so many more people. And I'm very grateful for that. So um, it's it's been an interesting Mother's Day, but it has been a good one. I you know, I got to see a lot of our kids receive some great gifts and flowers and had some good conversations, videos, chats, texts, and uh, I feel very blessed. So thank you to my family. Thank you to my friends and all those special people in my life. And thank you to all of you who continue to follow me on my meditations and Facebook and Instagram and here on YouTube. Um, I hope I can bring a little bit of light and hope into your day. And uh, you definitely do by just by showing up as well. So thank you for that. And um, I wish you all much health and happiness as we transition through this 
this next big challenge in life.